Monday. I hope you had a great weekend. I'm glad to see y'all. I have a fun craft for y'all today. So, if you're anything like me, you go to the beach, you collect the seashells, you bring them home, and then they just basically sit in a drawer somewhere or in a cabinet somewhere and they don't get used or anything done with them. Um, so, I have a solution for that today. So we are going to use all the seashells, okay? Just your basic kind of seashells that are a dime a dozen at the beach that um, all of us have tons of, okay? We're gonna be using those today to make a really cute craft. And the great thing about this craft that I love so much is it's not a coastal vibe. So, even if you are not a fan of coastal, which I am not, that's not my style. Maybe if I lived on the beach, I might like it, um, but I don't, right? I live in Kentucky, and so I don't have a coastal style. So something like this, you can make and still want to display it in your home, even if you don't like a coastal, beachy vibe, okay? Um, so it's going to be super fun. I think it's going to be really cute. I'm pretty excited about it. So when you hop on, say hello and let me know that you're watching. Um, we are on Facebook and YouTube this morning. Uh, don't forget to sprinkle, celebrate the video, all those great things. If you're watching on YouTube, say hello. Let me know you're watching. Be sure to give us a, uh, be sure to subscribe to our channel and give us a subscribe. I'm sorry. Subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up. I cannot get my words out this morning, apparently. Um, let's see. We have on Facebook. Hi, Donna. Hello, Ray. Happy Monday. Hi, Dorothy. Uh, hey, Regina and Laura and Tammy and Chris. Um, hi, Cheryl. Good morning, Ethel. Hello, Arlene. Hi, Teresa and Deborah and LaDonna. Hey, Lynn. Hi, Christine. Hi, Jeanette and Carol. Hey, Monica. Happy birthday. Yay, Monica. Hey, Margaret. Hi, Lynn. Hey, Carol and Suzanne and Bonnie and Connie and Myrna and Becky and um, everybody. Good morning. I know, Regina. It doesn't quite make sense to have a beachy vibe here in Kentucky. I adore the beach so much, um, but... You know, I don't think that that's really what I want my everyday decor to be. So, um, so this is going to be fun. All right. So what we have is I've got lots of napkins here. We've got um, all different ones. Okay. I've got some green napkins and then I also have some blue napkins. Okay. So we went with um, all different types of blue napkins. Now, I tried to keep the patterns fairly small um, so that they weren't, uh, because what we're going to be doing is putting the napkins on the inside of the shell. So you want to make sure that you can still get some of the pattern. If it's too big, you're just going to lose it completely. Um, so that's what we did. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six different napkins here, okay? Um, and then we've also got some gold paint and our shells. And then I have got, and I'm not sure which ones I'm going to use, but I have these here, these little pieces. I believe that I got these from the Dollar Tree, um, but you can also get them at Hobby Lobby. And then I also have these little pieces here that I also think came from the Dollar Tree. Okay, so I'm not sure which ones we're going to use. All right. Um, so we're going to go ahead and jump right into this because I think this might take me just a little bit. Um, yes, there is a dragonfly napkin. So all the shells that you're going to want for this are your basic clamshell, um, type of a shell. Okay. Um, anything along that line. Okay. A clam, a mussel, something like that, that type of a shell, um, where it's, you know, y'all know what I'm talking about, right? So basically your, your round flat type of shells, okay, that have a little bit on the inside where they're kind of like concaved, okay? 
that's the type of shell that we're looking for. So what we're going to do is I'm going to pick out um, some of these smaller ones. So like I said, most of us have tons of these sitting around our house. Um, if you are anything like me. So I didn't choose some of the nicer shells that I have. I didn't choose the corkscrew type ones and the um, conch shell looking ones. I didn't choose those. Okay, we just went with our basic, your basic shell. Okay, so, and I'm trying to keep all of these around about the same size. Okay, they're not real big. Most of these are around an inch or so, but you can just use whatever you have. Um, and I'm sure you can make it work. Okay, so we're going to take, um, I'm going to take some Mod Podge. Let me go ahead and separate all of my napkins. Griffin is feeling much better. He is. He's at school today. Y'all, I just can't even believe that school is almost out for the summer. Um, I mean, literally in just like two weeks is like all they have left. It's blows my mind. It absolutely blows my mind. I like to pour, Paula says, I like to pour my leftover resin in the shells and add starfish pearls and smaller shells. Oh, cute, Paula. I'm sure that's really cute. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and separate all my napkins. So they're ready to go for me. So even if you have some napkins like this one here, that's got the lemons on it, we can still use this because we've got all this other pattern around here. And since we're doing um, shells, we don't need a lot of space. Last day of school in Tennessee, Ethel says, is the 17th. We go a little bit longer than that. I think ours is the 25th. Oh, yes, definitely, Donna. I have a big shell that I got when we went to California. I don't know what it's called, but it's really big. It's like this big, but it's it's kind of, you know, this style. But the inside has this gorgeous, iridescent, um, kind of like pearlized look on the inside. It's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. Um and I've, I've always thought that would be really pretty to use for jewelry. June 1st in Louisville. Oh my goodness. Wow. Did y'all not do any um, NTI days in, in Louisville? Because I think that's why we're, um, you know, still getting out. I think we're still getting out on the 25th, at least. This one seems to be separating pretty easily. And this one's got two layers. Oh no, Katie, I'm so sorry. Prayers they get better soon and no one else gets it. All right, I think I've almost got them all. This is my last one. So we've got plaids, different sized plaids. We've got some polka dots, and then we've got the dragonflies. So I just chose blue shades that I felt like went together. I think this one's got two layers as well. Until the end of June? Holy moly, Lynn, do they go year round? They must go year round and only get out for like a few weeks for a um, summer break. Oh my goodness. That's crazy, y'all. That is crazy. Okay, so here's what we're going to do, okay? This is super simple. 
So we're just going to take our Mod Podge. And um, put it on the inside of our shell. Okay, just get up in there, just right on the inside. Then you're just going to take your napkin and we're just going to stick our napkin in here. And then I like to use another brush to help me get that adhered to the shell and get up in there. And that way I'm not tearing the napkin. Okay. Then I'm just going to cut this just to make it a little bit easier. Okay. Then we're going to take our sander and we'll just go all the way around the edge to remove the excess napkin. Okay, so you end up with this. Hi, Rosemary, second week of June. My goodness, y'all, wow. Well, you know, we go back in August, and I did see some people saying that they go back in September. We go back in August, so that makes a difference, I think. Okay, so then after we do that, we're going to take some gold paint. Now, you could do silver if you want to. Um, you could do white, whatever you want to do. We're just going to take some gold paint, and very easily, and this doesn't need to be perfect, as I always say, we're just going to go around the edge of our shell and just make a little bit of a gold outline. So I'm just taking a thin little brush and just painting right around the edge. And I'll show you how this looks, okay? So then you end up with this, okay? Look how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so I'm just gonna set them aside and we're gonna keep on going and do all of these shells, okay? So we're just gonna rock and roll um, and get them all done, okay? Does anybody know what we're gonna do? Y'all guess, what do you think we're gonna do with them once we get them all done? What are we gonna make? What do y'all think? Um. And so you just take, I mean, you're not going to need very much napkin, so you can use your scraps and all of that. Where's my little, here it is. Y'all hear that? My windows are open right now. I'm going to have to close them later because it's supposed to get up into the 80s today. I'm not going to put them in a shadow box. My brother lives in North Carolina. I'm his family make shell ornaments for us each year. Shell angels, oh fun. You don't have to cut away the excess. To me, it's just a little easier to, to deal with. And y'all, I still have the, um, low grit sandpaper or the high grit sandpaper. However, you, what's the proper way of saying that? Um, I don't know. It's like, it's not as strong or as coarse, but yet the number is smaller when it's more coarse. Okay. And because we're painting around the edge, you don't have to worry so much about whether it looks real good because you're gonna paint over it anyways, okay? And cover up that, um, that might look a little messed up. And you can always use your um, brush to get up in, uh, in this little piece up in here, okay? So, um, nope, not a banner, not a nativity. 
blue to a glass jar, all great ideas. The blue part of the flag, all great ideas. But nope, nobody's gotten it right yet. Hi, Sheila, I'm so glad to have you. Thanks for watching. So up here on the top, you do have to do a little bit more gold to kind of um, get that top part. And then you just go around the edge. And like I said, you know, this doesn't need to be perfect. So don't like fret over it. I just am doing it pretty quickly. Okay. All right, we're gonna set that one aside. Y'all, you have no idea how cute this is going to be. I'm telling you. Who is making that racket outside? I don't know. A mermaid tail, flower petals. I think that there's like so many things that you could do with this, but I think that um, covering it with the napkin on the inside and then painting it with the gold around the edge, it just truly um, makes it look so much less like coastal and so much more like every day. Um, and that's what I love about it. Okay. Any hints? It's going to be something summery. I don't know if that helps any, but... I kind of want to just make y'all wait. Make a clock? No, not a clock, but um, that's a great idea. Y'all are coming up with some excellent ideas for how you can use these. How many of y'all have a bunch of shells laying around your house like I do? I have a whole tote over here in my craft room for of them. And it was fun when I was going through it looking for shells for this project. It just brought back all these memories, digging for shells. That's my favorite part about going to the beach. And I find that every beach is different. So depending on um, which beach you go to will determine how you're gonna find the shells. So what I have found, I found it to be different everywhere. So when we went to St. Lucia, you could not find shells on the beach. You actually had to go snorkeling for them and they were just beyond the shoreline. Um, the shells were there. And so, um, and that was when we went to Sandals um, in St. Lucia. Uh, but one time we went to Orange Beach in Alabama and we had to dig for the shells. So we would go up a ways on the beach. So you would find the shoreline go up about like 10 or 15 feet. Somebody told us this, okay, when we were there. Um, and then you start digging for them. And y'all, I mean, I dug, it gives me the just heebie-jeebies thinking about it. But I had such a good time doing it dug to where my fingernails were splitting um, because of the sand. But we found some amazing shells doing that. And then sometimes you just find them by walking on the shoreline. So it's like we found them all different ways. But as I was sitting here going through the shells, I was having like memories of, you know, um, all the different times of going and finding all these great shells. All right, I'm going to tear this one so that I can get just the blue part. You have a bunch of driftwood. Driftwood you could use for this project, actually. 
Jamia, I'm glad you caught me live today. And y'all, I'm not painting the shell beforehand. I'm not worried about whether or not the napkin is a little wrinkled or not. Like, it's going to look amazing regardless. I promise. Martha Brown, thanks for the stars. Do y'all like to dig for shells when you go to the beach? It kind of gets a little addictive to me, especially once I get started and I find a good one, it gets a little, a little addictive. Lynn, thank you for the stars. And I just feel like I could just go on and on forever and never stop. Because you never know what you're going to find. Um... I made a beach scene in my backyard with a lighthouse. Oh, fun. There's just nothing like the beach. Oh, do we have a stars party going on? Y'all, I want to show you these shells and how they look together. So you can kind of see. But they are so pretty. They're just like little gems. Look at this. Look how pretty they are. They're so pretty. I'm going to put them up here so y'all can see them. Okay. So, we still got several to do. So, let's keep let's keep at it. And then, I'll show y'all what we're going to do with them. Lori Ann, thank you for the stars. And so, like I said, you could even do some bigger ones if you've got some bigger shells. Um... I used all the patterns. No, I haven't used this one. You could use some bigger shells if you've got, you know, several big ones. I didn't have very many big ones. I had mostly the smaller ones. So that's why I chose to use these. A frame? Nope, no frame. I can't believe nobody has guessed it. So, Barbara, we're going to make something with them today. As soon as we get them all covered, um, we're going to make something with them. Whoopsie daisies. I haven't revealed the project. Nope. Flowers, that's a great idea. No flowers, though. Where's y'all's favorite beach to go to? And are you going somewhere this summer? Y'all tell me. Um, I have not... I wouldn't say that I have a favorite. Um, the favorite place I've been to so far is definitely St. Lucia, but uh, I haven't been to very many places. Um, I've been to a lot of Florida, and um, it's okay. Like, it just doesn't compare to the Caribbean, so... I'm a little bit, I feel like a little bit biased towards St. Lucia because it's just so different from Florida. And I've been to Florida so many times. Um, and I've been to Florida beaches so many times. We've been to Orange Beach a couple of times and to Gulf Shores. 
Um, but it just, it's just all right. You know, it's just okay. Um, if I was to choose a beach in the States, I would choose Folly Beach. Folly Beach, South Carolina. And the reason why I loved it so much is because it was um, very non-commercialized and it was just this cutest little town and you could walk to almost everything. Um, and it was just, I don't know, it was just wonderful. There was this little lighthouse um, that we wanted to uh, walk over to. We got so far and then a storm came up and we had to leave, um, and we never got to go actually to it. Um, we went to go see it, but like we didn't get to get close. I don't, I don't think, or maybe it was, I don't remember. Anyways, that was really fun. And I did enjoy that. And then also when we went to California, we went to, um, to, um, crap. Where did we go, Trisha? <laughs> Which beach was that? Laguna. We went to Laguna Beach. And that was really fun because I love to explore when I go to the beach. And there was lots of places to explore. And that's where I found that really big, beautiful shell was in Laguna Beach. All right. Um, Christy Lee, I am making little shells, yes, that we're going to use for a project. So, I haven't revealed to everyone what I'm going to do with them yet. I'm trying to get someone to guess the right answer, um, but so far, nobody has guessed it. I need to read your all's favorite beaches, though. Destin, I have not been to Destin. I've been to Panama City. Um, but every time I see someone go to Destin, it looks so much prettier than Panama City was, but maybe, maybe we were just at Panama City at the wrong time. It's a definite possibility. I'm not sure. I'm trying to think of another clue to give y'all that's not going to give it away. But like, it'll help, but it's not going to give it away. And I can't think of one. Rosemary Beach. Where is Rosemary Beach? You vacation in New Jersey. Wow. I'm not making a wind chime. Has anyone ever been, one of the places that I really want to go to, um, I'm trying to read your alls. Yes, yeah, sea glass, Donna. We found so much sea glass um, in St. Lucia. Tons of sea glass in St. Lucia. Um, Sanibel Island. That's what I was going to ask, Debbie. Has anyone been to Sanibel Island? I have always wanted to go there because y'all know, like I've just already talked about, I love looking for shells and I've heard that Sanibel is the like shell capital. And so I've always wanted to go there. A bookmarker. What's a bookmarker? Like a bookmark? No, that's not it.
All right, y'all. We are like, I know it's a little, I hope this isn't too boring for y'all. Um, hi, Ellen. Thanks for watching. How long are these taking me? I wonder. I've been on for 30 minutes so far. I'm trying to just do like one of each so that I have them. Um, I have like equal amounts. So I'm just trying to go through and get like one of each done before I do another one of it. And y'all, the brush helps tremendously. So I'm using one brush to um, put the glue on and then I'm using a dry brush to help push the napkin into the shell. No, Shirley, that's a good guess too. Wow, I cannot believe y'all have not guessed this yet. I thought y'all would get, guess it right off. I don't know why, but I did. Good morning, Donna. I mean, I feel like they come together pretty quickly. And you can see that I'm not trying to be real perfect with the gold. And it really doesn't have to be. It looks really cute no matter what. Just getting a little bit of gold around the edge. So many people have guessed wind chime. It's a really good guess. Here in a minute, I'm gonna start putting it together and y'all are gonna guess what it is. I feel like though, you could do any of the things y'all have mentioned. You could do any of them. Let me grab a piece of this. Good morning, Cindy. Picture frame. A picture frame would be adorable. Like, I mean, I think the great thing about this is that y'all are um, coming up with so many great ideas of ways that you can use this. And like I said, because of covering them on the inside and putting the gold around, it removes the really coastal look about the shells. And um, it still has a little bit, but it's very faint. It's not like a real strong coastal vibe. And so um, I feel like you could just do so much with them. Wrong brush. Earring storage, no. Great idea though. All right, I'm gonna start putting it together to make, to see like how many more shells I'm gonna need. And y'all are gonna, y'all are gonna get it. Okay. I've only got six more up here that I've set aside, but how many have I done? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've done ten. I think I'm going to need more. <laughs> Tina, you got ready before you watched me? Holy moly. Of course, I know I'm changing my schedule lately, so that's, it's probably hard to keep track or know when to get your shower, really. All right, I need some more. It's 
coming together. It's going to be cute, but I still need some more. So let's keep going. I think I'm probably going to need all of them, honestly. Not a star. Let's see. I've got two of the dragonfly one, two of this one. I need another one of this one, but I'm going to do it on a white shell. Let's do... Okay. Let's just do another one of this. Not a turtle. It's not quite, like I said, I need more shells to really get the shape. dropping it. Okay, I have another guess. Or not a guess, another clue. Okay, that I think it'll it won't like give it away immediately, but it might. I don't know. Um, this is, we're going to make something that this particular thing won't go on your door, but it's in the shape of something that you might put on your door. Let's see if that helps. It's not a wreath. Not a watermelon. You're getting close though. Somebody gonna get it here in a minute. You got it, Donna Turner! <laughs> Yay! Finally, somebody got it. Yes, a pineapple. We're making a pineapple. It was a hard one because I'm using blue. It's going to be a blue pineapple. Where did you get the little sanding block from? Uh, Amazon. Trisha will share a link with you. I might need to get a new brush because this one's starting to get a little wet. And it's kind of making things a little harder for me. Rhonda said she would have never guessed that. I mean, I thought sure y'all would guess it. I don't know why I thought that, but I just, y'all are just so smart, I guess. I thought they'll know what I'm going to make. So we're making a pineapple out of our little shells and our wood pieces. So we're just um, need to get enough that we can create our pineapple shape on the bottom. Ooh. 
All right, y'all. We got four more. I'm, I'm trying to hurry. I'm trying to hurry. I'm trying to do these lighter ones um, on the white so that the pattern shows up a little bit better because the first, this one that I did, it just does not show up real well. And these smaller ones are a little bit harder to do because they're hard to hold on to. trying to hurry hurry the sand uh sanding block the grit that's on it I don't know but it is a higher grit so it's like like 200 maybe something like that it's not uh real coarse okay Trisha shared the link to the sander um, in the comments, that is an affiliate link, y'all. So just basically means that if you uh, click on that link and you purchase something, then we're going to get a small commission. Okay. All right, y'all, three more. Let's see. I think we need all of them. See how I'm starting to get kind of that pineapple shape there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do them all. I got two more, three more. Christy Lee, I think it only means if it's a certain direction. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it has to be hung right, or am I wrong on that? I know what you're saying. Maybe that does mean that. I don't know. Why would I think it meant that it was if it was upside down? And I don't know. I might just be making that up in my head. Maybe I'm thinking of a horseshoe. I don't know. In Hawaii, though, don't people hang... Um, pineapples on their door it means something else it doesn't just mean that so you know does anyone know do y'all even know what we're talking about <laughs> or somebody google it yeah so and so I think you're right Trisha I think it does mean something else though And I don't think I can say that on, I don't think I can say it on a live. So I know that you're, y'all are right. It does mean welcome. I think that in Hawaii, that's what it means. So I think you're good. I know, I know, Christy. I think if you hang it upside down, I don't know why I think that, but I think if it's upside down, Alexandra said she just Googled it. So 
So, Alexandra, since you just Googled it, are we right? Is it just any time a pineapple's on your door? Or is it um, if it's upside down? I'm still, like, questioning myself every time I say it. Yes. Upside down. Okay, so there you go. Upside down is the other meaning. So, as long as it's hanging the right direction, you're good. Nobody's going to think that about you, okay? <laughs> you are all good. Okay, let's see. I'm going to do... Um, I'm going to do another... Okay, I'm going to do another one of these. I thought I had done a third one, but I don't see it. So, let's do another one of the little polka dot. <laughs> yes, exactly, Tina. That's exactly right. Didn't want to say anything for fear of getting um, banned because Facebook does flag several words. So you got to be extra careful. I've been noticing a lot of videos lately on Facebook where they just say something that just seems completely innocent, but they bleep it out. And you're like, you know, and then you realize well, they just said blah, 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 and it's because of Facebook. Because people in the world are crazy. Virginia used to make them for winter wreath. It means welcome. Yeah. Right, Donna. That's what we were just talking about. So, don't hang it upside down and you're all good. I feel like if you were to hang it upside down anyways, someone's going to be like, uh, your pineapple's upside down. Like, flip it over. You know? <laughs> They're going to be like, why is your pineapple upside down? What kind of person puts an upside down pineapple on their door? We know what kind of person. Uh, we know. So, if you ever see that, you're going to be like, <laughs> laughing, because you know. You know what that means. Um, I'm going to do one more dragonfly. One. And then we are done. This is our last one. <laughs> You're welcome, Chris. <laughs> you never know what you'll learn around here. You just never know. Exactly, Christy. It's the world we live in. The world in which we live in. Okay, last one. Let's paint it. And then we can do the top part of our pineapple. Okay. Which, I got some napkins, but I don't think I'm going to do the napkins. Because I think that they're just not going to go with this. Um, so, we're going to just do the wood. Alright, so we got the last of the shells done. Okay. All done, finally. Set that stuff aside. I'm going to dry them real quick. And y'all, this is what I used. Um, this is the paint that I used. Um, 
It's Waverly Metallic Sunstone. But any kind of gold metallic will work. So let's just get them all dry. They're so pretty. They are so stinking pretty. Well, I still do that, Denise. I still do that a lot, actually. Okay. Looks pretty good. Some of them look a little better than others, but they still look pretty good. Okay. So now what we're going to do, okay, I'm not going to use my green napkins. I thought I might like cover these in the green, but I don't think I'm going to. I think it's just not going to, it's not going to look good with it. Um, I think it'll be better to just keep the raw wood. So that's what we're going to do. You can see though, y'all, I hardly used any of this. I mean, very, very little of these napkins. So you can literally use scrap pieces that you have. Yes, Christy Lee. Okay. So set these aside. All right, Joel. So now I have got this sign from Dollar Tree, okay? Um, I'm going to put these on here just so I can kind of get an idea for what I want the background to look like. I don't know if I want to paint it white or if I want a pattern on the background or what we want. Um, Y'all, I got gold paint on my shirt. All right, so we're just going to start kind of forming our pineapple shape. Just however works in your mind. They don't have to be perfect, but it is a little bit of a puzzle. feels as though I'm not going to need them all, but I don't know. Okay. So then we're going to take our little, I think I'm going to use the drift, these little pieces here, but you can also use these. I mean, you could use whatever you want to. Um, you could also use these, which I don't know. I really like those too. So who knows? Um, for my background, I think I'm just going to do white um, because I think it's just going to make the make it pop to do white. So let's do that. So let's take all our shells off. Grab some white paint. which I am, oh no, I don't think I'm running low, actually. I think I got a big bottle in there. I was going to say I'm running low on it, but I don't think I am. Awesome, Tammy. Okay. She says, awesome, we'll get paint out of clothes. The last thing that I have tried that worked is alcohol. All right, so I'm trying to be careful because I don't want to get too much on the frame itself. So I'm trying to get it kind of spread out first so that I don't have it gloopy around the edges. Because that's when you mess up is when it's nice and gloopy. You know what I mean? Gloopy, is that a technical term? I don't know. I might have made it up. I don't know. I'm 
G-L-O-O-P-Y, Trisha. Gloopy. Listen, and don't you be making fun of me, okay? You are the queen of making up words. She makes up words all the time, y'all. We, in fact, we make fun of her so much that we say we have a Trisha dictionary because she always has a different word. I forget what word she's been saying lately. I cannot think of what it is. Um... <laughs> What has she been saying lately? I don't know. Can't think of what it is. All right, I'm about to get this painted. We might have to do two coats, though. But it looks pretty good. That's right. That is exactly right. That's why we love her so much. Picking up weird words. Okay. This looks pretty good. I don't think the gloopy is a made up word. I don't know. But I don't think it is. All right, Joel. That looks good. I'm gonna dry it. I might have to do a second coat. We'll see. I hope this is cute, y'all. I think it's gonna be. All right. I think I am gonna do a little bit more paint. That's gloppy, not gloopy. Okay, well, I said gloopy. Vacuum, not vacuum? That's funny. Siri says gloopy is a real word. Well, Siri is always right. Well, who knows, y'all, but how about this? Y'all know what it means. Y'all got me, right? I didn't have to explain myself. Well, why am I sitting here using this bottle when I have another bottle that's got plenty of paint in it? All right, I think I'm calling it. Okay. All right, y'all. Here we go, throwing that bottle of paint away. I don't think I'm gonna do anything to the frame. I think I'm just gonna leave it. Or should I paint it gold? I mean, gold's really not my normal color choice but since we are using gold I don't know it might be pretty what do y'all think 
Okay. So here we go. Background is ready. I'm going to turn it this way since the hanger is on this side. And let's form our uh, pineapple so that we can get it glued down. So just going to form a pineapple shape. Y'all know what that is, right? Trying my best to not get too many of the same um, colors right next to each other. Trying to space them out a little bit. It's like a puzzle. And I'm mostly turning them upwards, um, but it doesn't have to be just whatever kind of works. Let's see, let's move one of these bigger ones. Okay, we did it. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is start gluing them down. And we're just gonna use some hot glue to glue them on one at a time in our little pineapple arrangement. So just using some hot glue some on the back and glue them down. Tina, no, these are actual shells that I had in my collection. But you could definitely use store-bought shells if you don't have any laying around. I need to trade out, let me trade out these two so that we don't have two of the same pattern right next to each other. And once you get them glued down, it looks a lot nicer because you're able to kind of control the way that they sit and you can make sure that they're sitting up uh, so that you can really see them really well. It's upside down for y'all, but you know what I mean. I'll show it to you upright here in a minute. So these are all pretty small shells. Like I said, they're about an inch or so. I think there's 16 of them that we are using. I'm putting a pretty big glop of glue right on the bottom of the shells. Playing a game of Tetris here today. I like that idea, Katie. I would definitely make sure you lay your shells out before you start gluing them on.
Okay, last one. Here we go. All right, y'all. So now you can see it. Look how fun that is. So you can tell just by doing that, that this does not have a nautical or coastal vibe to it, okay? It can be every day, but how fun is that? So much fun. All right, so now we can do either the driftwood, which I'm kind of liking that, um... Or we can do these little pieces. I think I like the driftwood. And I think what I'm going to do is put a little bit of gold around the edges of it. So let's just take our gold again. That we used on the shells. And I'm just going to put it around the edge. Hopefully it'll show up. I'm doing it around the top edge. You know what you could also do is use a pouncer and rub it around the edge. Sorry, y'all, concentrating here. Okay. All right, y'all. Let's see how this looks. Should I have another one back there? I think so. I think I need another one. So let me do a little, this is a smaller one. So we're gonna do the smaller one. As well. Okay. All right, y'all. Let's dry it. All right. And I'm going to glue this one down first. on the back of it. Just kind of stick it right in there at a bit of an angle. Then this one will go in here and then this one is just going to kind of lean on top. So I'll do this one next. And then this one, we're just going to kind of let it lean, I think. So I'm only going to put glue in a few spots. Here, here, around the edge. Okay. There we go. All right. I think we got it. So...
Look how cute that is. I think I'm going to add a bow just because I can't help myself. But that is cute. All right, let's see about a bow. Um, let's see about this one. This one here is from the Dollar Tree. Y'all, thanks for hanging in there with me. For those of you who have. And I mean, you can go with whatever, you know, kind of napkins that you have. Um, just, and even if you only have like a couple of different styles is okay too. So I am just, I just tied a regular old bow. I just think that's going to be cute there at the base of the pineapple, the top of the pineapple, whatever. Y'all know what I mean. Okay. Y'all, how stinking cute is this? All right, so let's just add a little bit of hot glue. Glue that right down there. Look how fun that is. I think I'm going to do some, I think I am going to do some gold around the frame, but I'm going to just dry brush it. So we'll take a little bit on our brush and then brush some of it off so that we don't have a ton on there. And then I'm just gonna, I might have brushed too much off. And then I'm just gonna dry brush it to add a little bit of hint of gold around the edge. just felt like it needed a little bit of gold on the frame. Okay. I think that is better. It's not like super gold, but it does have a hint, okay? See that? So it just kind of depends on how you turn it. So there we have it. Our seashell pineapple. Y'all gave us a million and one different ideas that you could do. So as we were working on this and I was giving y'all, making y'all guess, so many people came up with different ideas. So if you're not crazy about the pineapple, look through the comments because there's lots of ideas um, in there on things that you could do with this technique. I think this is a great way to use your shells, especially if you don't want a coastal look. I mean, I don't think that this feels coastal at all. Um, this to me can totally be displayed in your home you know, even if you don't have a coastal vibe. But the great thing about it is also, no matter what kind of napkins you use, you're able to kind of change that look up a little bit by using different napkins. So 
and even tissue paper. You could use tissue paper as well. You could go with some really colorful napkins uh, and do something like that. You could keep it pretty neutral as well, which would be really fun. You could do black and white. I mean, you could have so much fun with this and do so many different things. So, uh, and the same for the top. If you've got an excess of shells, maybe you even have uh, some longer shells. Like I had a couple of these. Um, you could do something like these for the top of your pineapple as well. So just get creative with it and have fun. Uh, Christy Lee, thanks so much for the stars. I hope you all have an awesome day and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye everyone.